this is my video that I'm doing for Janet's blog showing me how I'm using the A5 Bird organiser that she sent me. Uh, the organiser itself is not actually leather but it's kind of it's the same kind of material as like a Filofax Metropole or something like that. Um, it's very sturdy which is always good. When you open it up you've got tons and tons and tons of card pockets that I'm not even using. I've just got like vouchers, business cards, stamps, paper clips. Um, there's like two pockets, didn't it? You can see that. Um, I've got paper chase stickers in one and then train tickets and the timetable for my bird tour group in the other. Um, this organiser is good because it's got like a ring protector which stops you getting indentation marks on the front of your binder. Uh, this is a ruler of sticky notes that I got from Ryman's and then I've got a zipped pouch in which I keep things like stickers and then I've started to put like memorabilia and things like this is the card that I got from um, the restaurant where I went to my 21st birthday. Um, There's a spare ruler here, not quite sure why it's there. I did have an idea in mind when I put it there but I've since forgotten so I'm keeping it there till I remember. Then I've just got a um, post office card to go and collect parcels which are most probably file boxes but we shall see. Um, just random receipts that need to find in there. Uh, this is like my front page divider that I made. Uh, there's a fly leaf and then the divider. So the first section is called reference. Um, I don't really have a lot in this section at the moment. I've just got an A5 file fax page from had another organiser. Um, personal information, uh, registration page. How to do Cornell notes, and then I've got addresses with a bottom tab there, and a family stick obviously, with um, useful phone numbers that I should probably cover. Um, and then that's that. Then it's university for the next section. Um, I was I am intending to use these pages to write out the lecturers' emails, but I haven't quite got around to it yet because I've been having like thirty hour weeks, which is crazy times. But I've also got um, timetable and course record pages that someone sent me in a rack, but um, my timetable changes weekly, so I can't really use the timetable pages, but. Um, I'm debating making like a work timetable on those. Then this is lectures. So in here I've just got the different timetables of lectures, what day it is, who's the lecturer, where it is, what it's about, so that if I'm um, feeling like a good student I can prepare for it beforehand. Um, next one's work to do. Um, yeah, just papers to read, things like that. The next section is deadlines and I haven't actually written them all down yet because um, there was a lot of them and I didn't want to depress myself. Then we've got the diary in which I have the Martha Stewart thing from when I had a colour coding system that I've since stopped but I might go back to so I didn't want to lose my ideas. Then I've got the month on a page which I printed from Filofaxi. Um, then the actual diary, let's go to this week. So this is my, it's the bird organisers, it's like the week on two pages, so I've colour coded my different modules and the lectures, um, deadlines get written in red, uh, blog posts, or when I intend to try and post blog posts, go up, um, things like TV programmes at the bottom, um, what talk it is in bird group that week, when I'm getting the train home, and then, um, I'll show you on this page, underneath these post-it notes is like a blank box which I was trying to write in but it got messy and confused so I've got these post-it notes that I got off Amazon with things to buy, so shopping lists, people's birthday presents, um, things I need to do and things that could need doing but I don't necessarily need to do this week so to put off obviously. So yeah, that's next week, much less empty. Um, then we have lists. I have just a little post-it note here of when I open my hamster food and stuff so I have an idea of how long things last me. Um, Christmas thing, lists, what presents I've got for people. Um, my wish list, which is slowly getting ticked off. 
Um, and then I've just got um, like birthdays and anniversaries. I printed off Fadafaxi but I haven't got around to filling in properly. And then just um, note paper and the like for making lists. The next section then is the health and fitness. So in here I've got my meal planning inserts that I made myself. Um, it's basically so that um, my parents did a big shop when I first moved into uni and I've got loads of food in the cupboard but it stops me trying to wander around the supermarket working out what I need and just buying things because they look pretty or whatever. And I, um, I use a magnetic page marker that I got from Paper Chase to mark that week. That's next week, it's not been done yet. Um, similarly, I've got a bottom tab for the shopping list. Um, post notes of like things that are cheaper in other shops and stuff. I um, haven't done my shopping list for next week yet, but I generally, on a Sunday, um, do my meal plan and then from what's in my cupboards and then work out other meals I'd like and do a shopping list and things like that. Um, then we've got finance. Um, I've got a smash pocket here that I kind of, it did have a zipper thing but it wouldn't open very well so I just stuck it in with double sided sticky tape and I keep my coupons and things there. Um, things how much I'm allowed to spend a week, stuff like that. Um, these are actually the bird finance organisers which I really like, um, considering trying to emulate them because I just like the simplicity of how it's just plus minus and balance. So yeah, that's all the money I've been spending that I shouldn't really have done. Um, savings, how much money I've actually got in savings that's different from my student loan money that I'm trying not to spend. Um, student loan information, when it's, um, yeah, when I'm being paid, how much, how much is a grant, how much is a loan. And then um, that's when my fees get paid to my uni. Um, this is the st uh, standing order for my rent that I've got there just in case anything ever goes wrong. And then I've got more blank paper at the back for making notes about budgets and stuff. Um, then I've got pen pal letters here that I need to reply to. Um, a bill, a British gas bill that needs paying. And then I've got a like a credit card holder where I hold some train tickets, um, e hit card. National Insurance card and Christmas Savings card for Asda. Um, and then you can see the pen loop. It's actually, um, it's leather on one side here, but on the other side it's elasticated, so there's quite a bit of giving it, which is good. And again at the back it's got the ring protectors. There's also a zip pocket which has a, there's like a cover for the zip so it's not as obvious. And in here I just have um, random thank you cards for my birthday in case I got presents later after I'd moved to uni. And yeah, that is how I'm using my organiser currently. So I'm hoping to make a few changes in reading when I've got less work to do. So maybe I'll make another video after them, but for now that's it.